Namibia, a science competition brings together inventors and their inventions from across the country. The competition, organized by the country's Institute of Engineering, hopes to identify innovators with designs that can tackle daily challenges and help implement them. From a robotic arm to a smart watch that measures blood pressure, a list of innovations that have been put on show in the Libyan city of Zlitin. Dozens of young Libyans took part in the annual science competition with Yasin al scooping the Libyan award for creativity and innovation. This 3D invention is very important in every school and every university because it's very useful. I hope to develop it further in the future. For example, the product created can be made out of plastic so as to recycle plastic waste. The engineering student presented his prototype for a 3D printer. Although his invention is not a new one, Tiweti believes it does not exist in Libya at all. About 100 teams participated and submitted their ideas, but that number was narrowed down to a third. We want to break out of the traditional method of teaching in the educational system, and instead we want to provide our schools and colleges with clubs where ideas can be shared between students so as to come up with distinct ideas. Despite how limited resources are, there is creativity as we have seen through the prize and the exhibition. Amongst other inventions on display was an invention that uses the internet to determine levels of soil erosion and an automated fire extinguisher. Professor and competition founder Maher Araibi hopes that the competition will find solutions to everyday problems in Libya. All the projects that we've seen today are very relevant and touch on the reality of our current situation in Libya. Some of the projects truly amazed us. For example, the winning project of a 3D machine and the second and third projects all represent the reality of our society, our real problems. We have started to think of them and think of finding solutions to them. The contest aims to highlight the talents, abilities and innovations of young people with the potential of providing support from either state institutions or private entities. It's organized by Libya's Higher Institute for Engineering Technology. South Africa's largest city, Johannesburg, played host to various fashion designers and fans this week at this year's Fashion Week. The event showcased the newest creation for the spring-summer 2019 collections of both African and Asian designers. Take a look. South Africa's Mad Nolim was amongst this year's top designers who launched their collections at the Africa Fashion International Johannesburg Fashion Week. His work featured coats, flowing gowns and dresses meant for the young at heart. Nolan, who started his ready-to-wear label in 2013, showed off pieces done in plain neutral colors. This season I looked at the younger women, uh, like the Matt Nolan woman, but like chose to show like a very much more brave, fun side of it. So I played with a lot of green tones that a lot of people might seem uncomfortable with, but they really are wearable. The event launched in 2007 is used by industry players as a platform to promote and develop African fashion. Something new. This is Precious Muloi Masefi. She is the executive chairperson of AFI Joburg Fashion Week. So AFI is on a move to ensure that African designers get as much exposure as possible. Um, we're looking at, if you look at uh, the Asian designers and African designers, there is so much in common in terms of um, our long history, uh, the strong cultures that we have, uh, our heritage, and most of our designers 
um, are inspired by their own um, you know personal heritages and culture but what I love about uh, particularly the young designers they are, they are merging the old uh, with the new so they, they use the old culture to come up with um, innovative ideas around the future of fashion and I believe this is the way to go where we collaborate with each other learn from each other and um, you know in increase knowledge and, and share in, in best practices this season's theme is afro asia and is meant to bring out a fashion fusion of african and asian cultures where else would african designers and african creators be able to come and express themselves and express their work i think it's absolutely uh, uh, needed it's necessary and i always love coming out to 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 afi fashion shows because for me it's about discovering new talent but also seeing what my favorite designers that i've always been used to have to offer this time, so it's always something new. The four-day fashion event featured designers from Senegal, Democratic Republic of Congo, Japan, Madagascar, Botswana, South Africa, Cameroon, amongst other countries. And that's it on the program today. Thanks for watching. I'm Teniola Shubuale.